You don't need fancy design software to make stunning thumbnails for your YouTube videos. In fact, you can make them for free with Canva, a web-based design studio that allows you to design all kinds of graphics, including thumbnails. In this video, I'll walk you through how to use Canva to make awesome thumbnails for your YouTube videos. Let's get into it. Hello creators, I'm Ben Tolson from Podia, where we empower creators like you to make a living doing what you love. In this video, I gave you some important tips for designing effective thumbnails. Now we're going to apply some of those tips as I walk you through how to design a thumbnail in Canva. Canva is an amazing tool with lots of great features, but it's also easy to use, even for beginners. If you've been looking for a way you can design thumbnails for your YouTube videos without having to spend a lot on a complicated design program, head over to canva.com and follow along with me as I walk you through the steps. Actually, before you go there, you might first need to get a few things together. Do you already have images or photos you plan to use in your thumbnail? You'll actually be able to upload these into Canva and use them along with the graphic elements they offer. Be sure to put these assets into a folder that you'll be able to easily find once you're ready to get started. All right, now let's go to canva.com. Once you've signed up or logged in, you'll see the Canva homepage. You can start with a blank canvas by clicking social media and then YouTube thumbnail or you can search for YouTube thumbnail in the search bar for a selection of pre-designed templates. You might see something here that works perfectly for your thumbnail, and if so, all you need to do is switch out a few images and text, and then you can skip ahead to the section where we show you how to export your finished image. If you plan to design your own from scratch, let's move on. Before we modify anything, I'll show you some of the options available to you in the design panel on the left. There are templates you can load into your canvas, uploads where you can upload your own images or graphics, photos where you have access to a library of royalty-free images, elements where you can find free icons and shapes, text, and background which gives you options for solid colors, textures, patterns, and images you can use for your background. Since we're on background, let's start here. Choose a background for your thumbnail. Keep in mind when choosing the color or image that you'll want to be able to easily read any text you plan to add later. To add a background, just click on the one you'd like to use and it'll automatically fill your canvas. Maybe instead of using a solid color or texture for your background, you'd rather choose a beautiful photo. Click on the Photos tab on the left. You can search photos for a specific type of image or you can browse through the categories below the search bar. Once you've found a photo, just click on it and it will automatically be added to your canvas. To fill your canvas with the photo, click and drag the corners of your photo. If you need to reposition your photo, you can double click and then drag your photo to the desired position. If you have your own images or graphics you'd like to upload, click on the Uploads tab and click Upload an Image or Video. You can also drag and drop images from your file browser. Once your image has finished uploading, click on it and it'll automatically be added to your canvas. If you need to resize your image, click and drag the corners and you can reposition by clicking the image and dragging it to the desired position. If you want to add graphic elements to your thumbnail, click on the Elements tab. Search or browse for a specific shape or icon, and then click it to add to your canvas. Again, you can resize or reposition the same way you did with the other elements. Finally, if you want to add text, click on the Text tab. You'll see a search bar, options for heading, subheading, or body text, and a wide selection of fonts and styles. When choosing text for your thumbnail, make sure it will be easy to read, even at a smaller scale. You can add one of the generic text elements and then choose a different font by clicking on the font dropdown near the top left of the canvas, or you can choose one of the pre-styled text elements shown. In the top bar, you can also change the size, alignment, color, font, and other features of the text to fit your thumbnail's style. When clicking on any element, you'll be given various formatting options in the bar near the top left of the canvas. And on the top right are options to change the position of the object, copy an object's style, change the transparency, link an object, and lock, duplicate, or delete an object. Now that you've finished designing your thumbnail, it's a good idea to zoom out and see what your thumbnail will look like at a smaller size. In the lower right hand of your browser, click the zoom percentage and choose 10% to see the smallest version of your thumbnail. If your text is still readable and you can still make out the important visual elements of your thumbnail, you're ready to export. 
To export your thumbnail, click the download link in the upper right hand of your browser. You should be able to leave all of the default selections, but just in case, make sure PNG is the selected format. Now click download and choose the folder where you'd like to place your new thumbnail. And that's it. Now you've got a beautiful thumbnail for your YouTube video that is sure to get your video the clicks it deserves. If you got lost on any part of this video or if you have any other questions I didn't cover, feel free to ask me in the comments below. If you found this video helpful and you want more content like this, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be sure not to miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.